What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to react to episode 147 of Black Clover. Things are starting to escalate now guys. We are starting to see that the Devil Believers have so many followers and supporters behind them that it's actually kind of crazy to think of how many they have. It's going to be very tough for Asta, Magna, and Noel to pretty much do some damage if it's going to be them against all those other people. But don't get me wrong, our, our teammates and everything, we're, we're strong, but you got to be realistic. A hundred people maybe to fighting four of them, like it's going to be tough. Huff. We're pretty much seeing the Asta and everybody seeing the whole line of supporters with the Devil Believers and Dazu and Nero being held to going up a mountain. Shit's about to go down. So I am very excited to just get started on this episode. We are picking up the pace and I am loving this. So let's get started with today's reaction video. It looks like we're maybe going back into some memories. Or maybe this is how she met Bo. It might be how she met Bo. It looks like Bo is actually very well known. I think they did mention earlier that she was very into medicine and stuff and everybody would go to her. Trial and error. That's kind of how you like learn anything really. Like sometimes you don't even know where to start. You just do it and then over time you end up making something happen. Yeah. <laughs> Is that like a thing? Yeah, I'll brew some bitter medicine for you when you come over. I don't know, man. I feel like things are about to pick up now. Now we're going to have Asta, Magna, Noel come in at this exact moment and stop him. I mean, if you think about it, they can still use it to their advantage, at least like the, the Magic Knights, and use uh, the environment's mana to get those power-ups that we've seen them get throughout the last couple of episodes in the past, so... Probably no signal. Yeah, dude, you see, like, I wouldn't even go and try and fight them at this point right now. There's just too many people for them to do that. They could probably, like, distract them or something, like, destroy some of the, the, the rocks from those mountains, but then just kind of, like, be incognito for the rest of the time. Let's haul ass. <laughs> These are water. Are you going to try and come? What? You guys know how hard it is to climb up mountains, especially when it's raining? <laughs> At this point, they're not even going to see him as a threat, though, because he doesn't have his grimoire, so they might actually be inclined to letting him talk. But I don't think they'd actually go for it. Like, they'll just do it to lure him in and maybe capture him too. They're gonna freeze to death, boy. No freaking sweaters! One of them is gonna die. Uh, I don't think both of them are gonna survive. I think Bo is gonna end up dying. I still feel like Dazu can redeem herself because she just looks like that type of person. But I don't think... I don't think Bo has the capability to do it. She's too far deep in, I think. Or maybe I'm wrong. I, I don't know. How, how messed up would it be if like one of them ends up betraying each other though? You know like Dazu betrays Bo or Bo betrays Dazu? Now that would be another plot twist to the story. That was like an exquisite entrance if I do say so myself. 
この人たちバックスター気がついてないわよねこの人たちからは魔力をほとんど感じないわうん、うん、あの村にいた少年と一緒に魔力を持っているのに魔力しか私たち魔法騎士が守るべきはずはないのに魔力を持っているのに魔力を持っているのに魔力を持っているのに魔力を持っているのに魔力を持っているのに魔力を持っている This was not the reaction I was expecting from them. I wonder if Asa can con convince everybody else to go against Bo and Dazu. Look at Asa and how he got through anything before he even got his grimoire. She's literally Asta if they were like, if they switched roles. Like, it's exactly the same. Like, yes, obviously, yes, he understands what you went through. This kid has been through so much adversity throughout his whole life. And people only think about his grimoire at this point in time. Like, dude, like, you don't know the hard work that this kid put in before he even got to, to get his grimoire, you know? That's gonna be a lie. Because she was obviously not happy. They probably just wanted to take advantage of her. Oof, maybe she was abused. It looks like it. It sounds like both of them were like two faced. Like, very nice on the outside, but once they were in indoors, they would probably give her life so much hell. And that's what I said, they were probably using her. Bro, you should have just left! Honestly, she would be such a great asset to the Clover Kingdom in general, just to have in our alliance. I feel like Asa could probably make some, you know, do some talking with some of the mages and knights and everybody from the Clover Kingdom. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like Bo's intelligence with magic, oh, well, not with magic, but with like medicine making. They could actually like in, include her into something like that, especially now that they have somebody that doesn't even have magic in the Magic Knights, aka Asta. Speak your shit, Asta. What are you gonna say? Dumbass! You're over here thinking that he's just gonna like give you powers just like that? Like obviously there's gonna be some consequences to trying to do whatever it is that he wants you to do in order to get those powers. There's no going back. At, at this point you guys are just gonna have to fight them. I hope that the, that the devil inside Asta's grimoire kind of like does something to only help Asta and doesn't do anything for them too. They, they contradict themselves and like... Uh, they're so annoying sometimes, man. そいつらを恨んだりしなかった。それはグリモアルト。お前たちが言うアクマの力を得たけど、俺はその力をこの国への復讐に使おうと考えたことは一度だってない。ファクト。この国元々俺を連れて行くつもりだったはずだ。そう
Oh, she said yes. You know, there's, I feel like there comes a, a time and place where you have to take things into your own hands and this ain't it, Chief. This is not it. I mean, they're kind of low-key buying time, though, for some of the Magic Knights to come back, like Magna with everybody else. Hell yeah, it's cold, ain't it? Bro, Nero's just tired of their shit, dude. I bet you she's just so tired of being held. Oh! There's Magna in his car, maybe? His little... Yes! Yes, sir, Ayami! Yes, boy! Brought the goat just in time. We've come to the part where Asta has officially met face to face with uh, Bo and Dazu again in order to try and convince them to not go through with their plan and to kind of like change their ways. Obviously, it's not working. And essentially, Dazu and Asta are the same kinds of people, except for the fact that Dazu has revenge against all the people that looked down on her and Asta never did. I don't like the fact that they kind of just gave each other up in order to kind of like follow them in order to, you know, to, I guess you could say, let Nero go once they get the devil's powers, once they reach the Spade Kingdom and everything. But I feel like there could have been a better way to do this. But again, I feel like doing that whole thing kind of like bought them time in order to allow Magna to bring Yami Tsukihiro to the point where we know that they're not going to be able to pass uh, the strong uh, region with all the manas because now we have the captain here. And you know, when Yami, when Yami throws down, this mother effort throws down but that's what we're gonna leave out for today's episode guys thank you guys so much for stopping by i'm gonna leave all my socials down below and i will see you guys in for the next reaction video peace